Just like the institution itself, the symbol for Eastern Kentucky University has changed over the years. From a color, to a leopard, to a dog and then a man, EKU's mascot history is varied and not without controversy. EKU started out as Central University, but with lack of funding, it was absorbed by Center College. It transitioned in 1906 into Eastern Kentucky State Normal School. It was here that the first instances of identity began to shine through. Under President John Crabb, the official colors of the school were chosen. Maroon and white. The emerging sports teams on campus, including the new football team, would be known by Eastern students as the Maroons. Many students, however, wanted a mascot. They wanted something they could see. In 1928, the Eastern Progress released an article asking for mascot submissions. The article gave examples of what the mascot could be like, but they would not use the examples because they were already a mascot somewhere else in Kentucky. One of those examples, yep, the Colonels. The student population in Eastern decided to make the Leopard their mascot. They had made an arrangement to buy a leopard from the Memphis Zoo, but the school, known as Eastern State Teachers College now, did not have enough money to purchase the animal. President Donovan made the final decision and kept the name and nickname Maroons. Eastern remained the Maroons until 1964, but that doesn't mean we didn't have a mascot. Mozart was a popular dog on campus. Named after the famous composer, Mozart was often seen with the band. He hung out in the ravine, chilled with students. It was a grand time. Naturally, Mozart is at his best on the football field with the band. He manages to steal the show quite regularly with such stunts as following the referees out on the fields and barking ferociously all the way. Mozart was 17 when he died in the summer of 1964. Just famous for hanging around the ravine, and he's actually buried over there. Got, I think he's even got his own uh, nameplate over there, but he was a very uh, well-known dog on campus by both faculty and uh, students. That fall, Eastern students learned about the adoption of their new mascot, the Colonel. The design for the Colonel was donated by cartoonist Hugh Haney a friend of Robert R. Martin in 1966, when the school finally gained its university status. That's how the design of the outfit that the uh, students wore came from Hugh Haney's uh, cartoon drawing. Our state is considered a Mason-Dixon line state, and obviously uh, there's some allegiance to the north, some allegiance to the south, and uh, he decided that the colonel which was uh, kind of a statewide moniker for a uh, southern gentleman, and that's what he wanted our teams to be, and he chose that, and we uh, outfitted uh, usually a student to, uh, to be our uh, mascot as a colonel with the hat, the long beard, and uh, a cane at that point. I think it is absurd that we adopted the symbol of the colonel. We have adjusted to the idea that we are the Maroons and never really felt that a symbol was lacking. A mere figure with a beard won't help, and if anything, it'll make Eastern feel less an individual college. While some students thought that the name wouldn't stick, a series of winning streaks for the EKU football team proved that the Colonel was here to stay. So I think it's important um, to have a mascot in schools in general because we can all unify um, towards one particular essence instead of just a, a, instead of a school as a history. It's easier that way. But we can all associate it with what it is instead of just making it out to be what we think it is. An actual mascot costume was created in 1986. In the early 2000s, he got a facelift. The EKU Colonel. A mascot barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology.
Now the only piece of the mascot that is used is the colonel head. The rest has been replaced with sports attire. The bottom layer is just I wear a t-shirt and shorts, you know, and then I put on the pants and the, the muscle, it's a muscle suit, it's black, and it's just like putting a pair of pants and a big sweatshirt, um, except they're just padded, they're huge, and they have suspenders, and they're all interlocking, and they have a neck that's this color um, that shows off the head, and then you put on um, just regular football pants and then the football jersey with um, football gloves and just put on the head. The Colonel Head logo is being phased out now, only being used by athletics. A push for a Power E logo has started up new traditions, and the name Colonel teeters on the edge of possible extinction. The mascot for the university, known as EKU, is varied and not without controversy. How will the symbol and institution change in the years to come?